All right, I'm going to tie a um, streamer that I've been using for bass here the last few weeks. Uh, for lack of a better term, I'm calling it my Hoosier streamer because we're here in Indiana and uh, it's red and white. You're going to, I've already got the uh, bead eyes tied in. Those are small bead eyes. And if you've noticed, I've tied it a little bit back from the um, gap or the uh, uh, hook itself, and we'll—I'll tell you more about that here in a minute. But we're going—we've got uh, deer hair thread. This is uh, the um, this is obviously white, but it's the real tough stuff for tying deer hair with. And we're going to start with our marabou there and wrap around big tail, big plume of marabou. Um, I've been using bunny strips as well and uh, those work very well. They look nice in the water. The problem being is they tend to wrap around themselves and wrap up around the hook itself. So we're going to start with that, put a big glob of head cement on here. And that big bump right there is going to be fine. We're going to use that here in a minute. And then we're going to take some of this blue flashaboo and clip out several pieces of the blue flashaboo as a tail section. I like the blue. And we're going to tie it in right on top of the uh, marabou, and you can see, or the, uh, yeah. The, Marabou that you can see it's wanting to turn, that's fine. We're going to put enough head cement on it that it'll dry later. And we're going to just move forward here and go to some of the white palmer or medium palmer chenille. I like to use this as kind of an underbody right here. I'm going to tie that in, move forward with it. And then all we're going to do is palmer this forward as an underbody or an underbase kind of to cover up there a little bit. So that's why it's not too terribly important that that looks real good. And we're just going to keep working this forward to a point, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch behind the eyes. Okay, we're going to bring our thread back around and capture that there. That's going to be kind of an underbody, like, like the, uh, the shiny for the spring. Looks like a shad pattern, shad collar. Clip that off right there. Wet my fingers and pull that back and add a couple more bands. And once again, a little head cement right there. Now we're going to go to our deer hair and if you haven't tied deer hair before this isn't the video for you to learn how to tie deer hair. There are plenty of those out there um, but uh, it is, I'm going to do this in hopefully just three pieces or three clumps of deer hair. I'm using white. But we're going to cut off a section in the first piece we're going to use as is and tie it in right behind a couple of loops pull down move it forward now a couple of lat wraps underneath go back and get yet another section of the uh, white deer hair here and if you haven't worked with deer hair um, it's kind of tricky. It's going to take some getting used to. There are lots of good videos out there that show you how to do that. Now, I'm going to trim all these down to a certain length. I'm going to come right behind this other piece, round once, round twice, pull tight. Okay, there gives me my little collar. Um, looks like I'm going to have to add a fourth piece to this. So we're going to go back to our deer hair. 
Um, people always talk about using pencils with this. I use about half to three quarters of a pencil each time I do this. This is it for. Uh, this will not keep this float afly or fly afloat because of the the um, lead eyes up front. Round once, round twice. Pull that tight, and now we're going to move right up to the front. Put one more piece of deer hair right up front. Maybe not quite as much this time up front. Transfer it over again. Try to clip it about the same length. And we're going to go right up front with that around once, around twice. Pull that tight. Gave him a little rooster tail there. We'll be taking care of that here in a second. Okay, so now we're just going to put a little whip finish right there on that on front. Couple three. And there's not much room left. So that gets to be kind of tough. Alright, we're going to pull that tight. Snip it off. And I'm going to show you this pretty quickly here. We're going to shape our fly here. Starting right from the front. A couple little clips. Right around the eyes. Come back over here. Do the same thing. Move back. Keep moving around. Now as you can see I've kind of created a little collar and this is where it kind of is up to you on what you want to want yours to look like. I like a pretty big collar right there. And at this point in time I usually try to come in here and give them a little haircut up top. Now I'm going to clean that up a lot, but maybe not a lot. It really doesn't mean need to be. It's kind of functional as is. But you can play with it as long as you need to. The point being, you've got a fly here that a lot of movement has been very successful in bass this year. Got the blue on top, and you're going to get a lot of movement. You want to fish this kind of in a yo-yo style. Um, well, I like sinking lines. I like to use the a floating line with this one because it, that floating line tends to act like a bobber. So there we have it. Little soft white there. You can kind of get the picture of what we're talking about.